hopefully no one flops as much as I do. On our way to golf practice, we tee off in four minutes and we're still all the way by Paige's house. So it was raining, but now it's not. I hit my ball into the pavement over there, but now it's over there. So now we've got this thing up here. It's like a hole. And I already suck at golf, so this is <laughs> Look at all these geese! Geese! Today I literally did the worst you can do. Double par in every hole. So I came into my room right after golf and I was like, oh, I'll just sleep for like five minutes. It's been three hours. I need more sleep. If you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, make sure to go watch it. But we went over to my mom's. Me and my friends went over to my mom's last night. And I'm like, I didn't have any golf balls in my golf bag, like, I don't even know. I had so many last season, I haven't even used them, so I don't know where they went, but they weren't there. So my mom gave me, like, a bag full of them, and I left them in my best friend's boyfriend's car, and they're not coming back until tomorrow night, and I still have golf practice tomorrow. And uh, me and my friend both lost every single one of her golf balls at golf because we're so bad. We just hit it to the trees, hit it into the water, and then we just like have to get a new one. But there's how my life is flopping. Oh, check this. This Gorilla Pod is the thing that I use. I use it every day, every second of the day. It is so handy and it's supposed to have three legs. But this third leg I left at my mom's because these, like people mess with it so much that they pop out really easy. So the third leg popped out, pretty sure it's at my mom's house. I don't know when I'm going back over there next. Oh look, cool, okay. I think I might just buy a new one anyway soon. This one falls apart really easy. I'm gonna take better care of my next one if I buy a new one. There's another way my life is flopping. Flop life all the time, but it's whatever. Still have a good time. I just wasted away most of my day taking a nap, but I don't regret it. I feel amazing. And tomorrow's golf practice is only from 8 to 9 when it's been 8 to 11.30ish every day this week. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I don't really understand how people can just like switch the way their hair is like... Like, one day you part this way and the next day it parts this way. Like, my hair doesn't do that. But lately, I've been, like, switching it so much because I get annoyed that it, like, I can do either way now. So this is a great day. Like, everyone just give me congrats and tell me congrats in the comments. I'm forcing you to. Thank you. Because now I can wear my hair however the heck I want. Even though naturally it does this. It just parts in the middle. And then I look like a... The weird thing, I just don't look good with the middle part, and it does it all the time. And then I just like gotta fix it all the time. I have so much hair. Oh. I meant to like slightly fall, and then I just completely fell off of this stool onto the bed. So that was fun. Anyway, yesterday I said I was gonna talk to you guys about making videos and then I said I would get back to it, but then I never did. So I'll talk right now. Clearly I make a video every single day and I also post again on Wednesdays. If you haven't seen the video that I posted for this Wednesday, make sure to watch it. It's called Summer Weekends. I'll link it down below. Make sure to give it a nice thumbs up and comment on it because I think it's pretty cool. It took me forever to make. So I make a lot of videos and on top of that, I sometimes make videos for other people. That's actually why I was in LA. I was making a video for my brother, which I also just finished and I'm gonna post pretty soon. Then I also just made a video for a missionary homecoming, which I probably will also post because I just wanna get all my work out there on the internet because I want people to hire me more and see my work and whatnot. So I make a lot of videos and I consider myself not just a vlogger, but a filmmaker. So with that, I um, don't really have much free time because I'm sitting on my laptop. That one minute video that I made for today took me like three hours to make because it takes a lot more work than you think. Every single shot has to be on beat and if it's not, it doesn't look good, at least not to me and I can't handle it and 
filmmakers know what I'm talking about. It has to be on beat. And then after you do all that, you have to color it and you have to make sure all the shots like flow together nicely and if you want any transitions or whatever and then like titles and text font and all that. There's just all these little things that a lot of people don't realize go into making a quick little minute long video for like Twitter or something, which I also put it on Twitter so make sure to follow me. So I don't really have a lot of free time because I make a daily video which takes two to three hours to edit every night. So I stay up really late every single night. Bad idea, I need to start editing sooner, but it's worth it. So then on top of that, I'm making the Wednesday videos and then plus videos that I make for other people. So I just spend like most of my hours of the day editing videos and if I'm not editing videos, I'm doing something for this video, which is usually fun stuff, so that's totally fine with that. Just saying, I put a lot of work into making videos, so like, I don't really know where I was going with this, I was just kind of letting you guys know what it's like to be a filmmaker, and because I put so much work into it, I would very much appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and watch all of my videos. Most people just watch videos all day anyway, so you should watch mine, and uh, yeah. I still need to shower up because I just took a three hour nap and I'm still in golf attire and feel like crap and my Wednesday night activity tonight is swimming. That's for church. That's what I mean by Wednesday night activities, youth activities. We're swimming at my grandma's pool. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna go in the shower. Ow, I just landed on that so awkwardly. <sighs> I know this whole vlog I've already talked like the whole time but that's probably just gonna be this vlog because I just did the stupidest thing ever and I have to explain it to you guys. Well, I have been trying to shower for like two hours now. I actually got kind of lazy and hungry or whatever. I went and ate and then I went back down, turned on the shower, thought about taking a bath. So I started filling the whole bathtub and I stick my hand in it and it's cold and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm an idiot and I turn it all the way hot. And so then I left and I came back and it was still cold and I was like, what the heck, like no one has showered, why is there no hot water left? So I turned it off and I let all the water drain and I turned it back on like 20 minutes later and it's still just freezing cold all the way on hot. I was like, okay, I'll just go take a nap. So I went and I took a nap for like an hour, then I came back and I turned it all the way hot and it was still freaking cold. So I was like, okay, whatever, like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but I turned it like halfway, like halfway in between cold and hot. And I was like, okay, why is it warm now? Like it was warm and I could shower in it. So I got in the shower and I was like, okay, hey, it's kind of weird. So I turned it a little bit more to the hot and it was like still just the same temperature. And I was like, okay, well maybe like, I don't even know the shower is broken. It's just one temperature. I don't know. I turn it all the way hot and it gets freezing cold. And I was like, what the heck? Like, what? I'm so confused. So then I turn it back to the middle and I put conditioner in my hair. And then I was like, okay, well I need it to be cold because that's, I wash my conditioner out in cold water. And so I turn it like a little bit cold and it got steaming hot. And in this moment, I realized that I am the biggest idiot I've ever talked to in my life because I thought that when you turned it all the way to the left, that it gets really hot, and when you turn it all the way to the right, it gets really cold, and then I realized I didn't know how to work my own shower because when you turn it all the way to the right, it gets freaking hot, and when you turn it all the way to the left, it gets really cold, and I just spent three hours basically trying to figure that out, and I'm an idiot, so there's a story of how I flopped. Um, put down in the comment below, ways that you flop all the time and comment down below also if you have seen my video that i posted around this afternoon called summer weekends once again i will be linking it down below and make sure to go comment on that as well i know this vlog was not my usual vlog because i didn't really go and do anything i just talked the whole time but i just had a lot to say so it was like good time for me. I hope you guys still enjoyed it and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. <sighs> Hopefully no one flops as much as I do.